Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? And in this video, I want to talk about how to close or even qualify your prospects through Messenger. Stay tuned. guys Jermaine comments here and in this video guys I want to talk about how to close or even qualify your prospects through messenger all right so before we even dive into the content I need a quick favor from you guys all right if this is your first time to any of my videos first time to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification each and every week I'm dropping some type of valuable content guys to help you guys out in the social media world all right um, I had one of my team members actually send me a message and uh, I'm gonna share that message with you guys now maybe some of you guys or in network marketing, maybe you are promoting some type of affiliate program, but more than likely if you're connecting with people through Messenger, right? Or just messaging people on any platform, more than likely guys, whether you notice or not, there is a bit of a psychological trick that I really hit home with and I'm very effective when it comes to qualifying people and even closing people um, in most cases without even getting on the phone with them. Now how cool would that be? All right, so here's what I need from you guys. All right, stick around to the very end of this video guys because I have a pretty cool resource for you guys as well. Each and every um, six months I do a three-day virtual workshop where I go over things just like this and more when it comes to social media, building your brand, and basically just scaling your business and taking your business to the next level, all right? So I will also link that in the description so you guys can be notified of the up and coming workshops, all right? Here is the dilly yo. Um, I'm gonna put this message somewhere, probably here. Yeah, we'll go with that, all right? So here's the thing. Um, I had someone on my team and um, they reached out to me with this um, question from a prospect, right? And the thing is this, guys. Um, when it comes to people connecting with people through Messenger or um, just messages per se with this text message, keep in mind that there is a psychological part that plays a huge role in helping people to make that decision, right? So I want to just give you guys some psychology of this message here and, you know, I did give her some pointers on this specific thing, but I thought this would be some pretty cool value for you guys as well, all right? The message states, it says, good morning, Kelly. I'm so sorry it took me so long to get back with you. He said, life gets crazy sometimes. So I was wondering about your business and how you're able to help with recruitment. And is there a chance, I'm pretty sure there was a typo, for this, right? My upline, Debbie Creary, and I are interested. I know you are friends with her too. And she goes on um, from there, you know, my, my um, extra team member reached out to us and hey, you know, pretty much asking her for a phone call and she come back she said no Kelly you know I can't do a phone call today but I will appreciate any information you could send me All right so I want to just go back to this message here so first of all just understand this that this prospect is obviously open okay that's the thing you know you don't have to basically ask this person are they open okay they they're open and at some point it's something that my team member has done to basically uh, get this person reaching out to them, all right? So that's one you know, good thing that you got people reaching out to you, all right? But <clears throat> that person stated that, sorry, you know, it took so long you know, for them to get back. Life is pretty much crazy. Now, the thing is this, there are so many ways to handle this actual message, but just, just remember this. Psychologically, within the first sentence, that person usually is giving you their problem okay so of course right here she mentioned that it took a while to get back but she mentioned life is crazy so if she's talking about life is crazy more than likely she's dealing with a time issue right and we all know guys like time is never really the problem it's really time management but right off the bat i see that okay she's talking about life is crazy okay then on top of that she mentioned that um, she was wondering about the business. Now, you don't never wonder about a business, okay? So more than likely, that's another problem. So either it's she's looking for you know some additional income, or maybe she's just looking for someone to link up with, as also that she stated, you know, um, how are you able to help with recruitment? So this also lets you know that this person is struggling with recruiting people, right? So in the first two sentences, She's basically telling you that she has limited amount of time. She's also letting you know that, okay, the business of some sort crossed her mind. She's open to extra income or something. 
right? And then she also mentioned that she could possibly be struggling with recruiting people, right? So she mentioned that her upline, you know, and herself are interested, right? So the thing is this, man, understand guys that this is the perfect prospect. And um, I will keep you guys posted on how this actual conversation goes in another video, all right? But here's the thing. First of all, when someone tells you that life is crazy or man, I got so much on my plate, typically this is a time issue. And we all know you cannot get more time. So the idea is that when someone hits you with the time objection, typically just let them know like look you know i appreciate you sharing that with me but um actually our system is set up for busy people right the way we do our business is set up for people that have limited amount of time and things like that right so and i will i will really just combat this with just a question so you know is what you're saying that you know is, is is time really an issue right now or you know would you like to create more time in your life whatever the case may be i will ask that first just to really get a conversation going off that first sentence okay from there she mentioned that um you know she was wondering about the, about the business <clears throat> i would just hit her with the second message something along the lines of um hey i also noticed um you said that the business crossed your mind you know i appreciate you thinking of me right but uh let me ask you you know are you in a position where you know you're ready to possibly create some extra income right and that's how i will handle that and then she also mentioned that you know would you be able um to help her with recruitment and you know i would be like um, yeah, you know, um, the good thing is, is that, you know, we actually have a step-by-step -step system that will walk you through how to actually get people started. And we also have training in our back office to better help you, you know, with recruiting and prospecting and things like that. Right. So I will basically let her know that I have solutions for all those problems before I even mention like, Hey, here's my link. Let's get started. Right. But from there, I will figure out like, you know, what was it that has you open? Like what's going on in your primary business, right? That where you and your upline are actually looking to, um, you know, come partner up with us. Like, what are you guys, you know, what are you looking for? What are you struggling with, you know, in your previous company? I would really just try to find, I would try to find as many problems as possible, you know, we're going, you know, forward with this actual person, right? And the idea guys is understand that this is like the perfect message. And a lot of times you're getting these messages from your prospects, but you're so focused on trying to present the opportunity or present the business that you're missing the actual psychology of what your prospect is really saying right and of course guys you know just to throw in this extra bonus she mentioned that she couldn't do a phone call so more than likely like i stated that you know uh my team member reached out to us and hey let's hop on the phone because that's what i really teach my team is like hey look you know if you need to get on the phone with someone go ahead and reach out to them and get on the phone but um she mentioned that she can't do a phone call but she would you know appreciate any information so when it comes to information you know i typically just like to ask like hey you know um i'm glad you asked for more information i you know plus you know there's a ton of information i can send you but what exactly is it that you're looking for um you know before we get started right and it's more so of asking that person what would be the determining factor of you getting started today right because when it comes to information guys nobody really cares about the information really they don't okay but it's more so what is it that they need to know that's going to help them to make that decision all right so if you guys got value man be sure to let me know in the comments below i have a free resource in the description below it's the seven social media no-nos basically seven things that you should not be doing when it comes to um, building your brand or promoting your product or services online all right when you download that free pdf guys of course you're going to be added to my email list and you will be updated and have ac direct access to me where you can um, send your screenshots or conversations to me guys and i will look at them go through them and i would do videos just like this cater to you to help you to better you know close and qualify your prospects you know in messenger or through messages period right and also guys if you guys want to be notified of my um three-day virtual workshop that i host every six months all right it's called the um, social media profits three-day virtual workshop there'll also be a link below so you guys can actually just put your information in and uh, i'll basically let you know uh, upon the up and coming you know through that virtual workshop all right so look man if you guys got value man be sure to let me know be sure to pound that thumbs up button share this video out and let me know in the comments below what was your biggest takeaway all right so i'll see you guys on the next video man it's your boy j Cobb. be humble be consistent be you